This segment is brought to you by Australia's number one paper towel, Handy Ultra. Keep it handy. I've got a theory, you know. I reckon one of the main reasons that people don't have family dessert more often during the week is they reckon there's no time. Well, I'm here to show you that that is absolutely wrong with an amazing dish. It takes no more than five minutes to put together and about half an hour to cook. This is, by the way, one of the very first dishes that young apprentice chefs learn how to cook. So, you're in good company. Now, there'd hardly be an Australian household that doesn't have a tin of fruit or two. I'm using peach slices in juice, not, uh, not syrup, of course. You see, the dish we're making is a thing called tart tatan. It's a classic. You make a caramel, some fruit, some puff pastry. It's really easy. Look, when you drain them, they get pretty dry, just not dry enough. So you want a really good quality paper towel. And we lay it out on the bench. Then the fruit goes on top, and you've got to let it kind of soak up the excess juices. All right, so while our fruit is drying off, we will start making that caramel. First thing we need, a little bit of caster sugar. You know, when it comes to making caramel, there are a lot of myths and opinions out there. I don't do myths and opinions, I'm into facts. And so let me tell you a few things you need to know. For starters, it is actually a lot easier to make caramel if you do it quickly than if you do it slowly. You get a lot more control that way. And with a tart tatan, a lot of people, they put their, their sugar and their butter in at the same time. It's really likely to get a grainy result. No, you want to cook the sugar on its own until it's a good brown caramel like this. And then you're going to add your butter into there like so. And a bit of vanilla if you feel like it. It's not necessary, but I like the flavour. And at that point, turn the heat off. Yeah, the butter has robbed a lot of the heat out of the caramel, which means it's not going to brown any further. But you keep stirring to make sure that it doesn't split. Now, he's actually looking really good there. At this point, arrange peach slices all over the top. There's one other thing about making tata tan that a lot of people don't realise. They often just use the one layer of fruit. But because the fruit shrinks when it cooks, you really do need a second layer to fill in those gaps. That way you end up with a dessert that's all plump and full, as opposed to looking like it's got some missing bits. Traditionally, when you're making a tart satan, you just use the one piece of puff pastry. But we are actually going to use two. And it's not just that I love my carbs, although I do. The main reason is that by doing that, we make it a bit thicker, and that means it's kind of easier for it to rise. So just invert them onto one another, making like a star shape. We'll give it a little bit of a roll with our rolling pin, cut a circle and drape it over the top. Once you've got the pastry on top, it does need to go into the oven pretty quickly. Somewhere between 190 and 200 degrees, depending on your oven. And that's going to need no more than about 25 to 30 minutes. You know it's done when the pastry is beautifully crisp. But while that goes, we're going to do one more thing. I don't know if you noticed, but when I drained those peach slices, I kept all the juice. And we're going to use that to make a beautiful butterscotch sauce. All you've got to do is take the juice and pour it into a saucepan. That's going to need to boil down by at least half. Going to add in brown sugar. Cream and a little bit of butter. Now, the real key is don't let it boil. You just want to simmer the whole time, OK? Your first clue that this beautiful tart is ready is that amazing smell of caramel that is filling the entire house. Though, to be honest, I can't tell whether it's from the sauce or the tart. Either way, it smells amazing. As far as the tart is concerned, two things you do need to know. Number one, this caramel's very hot, so please do be careful. Number two, the easiest way to turn it out is actually to put your plate on top of the pan and then flip it over. Beautiful people. Let it sit for about maybe 30 seconds before you take the pan away, just in case any pieces of fruit are still stuck to the bottom. Oh, are you serious? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ball boys, linesmen. No, seriously, that is an amazing looking dessert. And the best thing about it, of course, is it's a couple of tins of fruit, a bit of puff pastry out of the freezer, and some basic pantry staples. It's the kind of dish that we can all make. You know what makes it even better? <laughs> 
Peitsch war das Quatsch sowas. Ja.